what is up everybody here we are and welcome to a video on ace designs 107 principles of design yeah it's a good background isn't it now sorry for all this crap here um i'm organizing a new intro it might not be mine it might just be a template off youtube but i'm going to make sure that i'm going to get the best template so yeah um so let's get straight into the tutorial this is what we'll be making today now this is on Photoshop, it's very very easy to make and I'm just making a video tutorial, nothing wrong with that. I'm um, not going to say it's my work or anything else, um, it just shows you a cool little effect. Um, I'm going to put the link in the description below of this URL if you want to check it out. And yeah, make sure to hit that like button. So, let's go ahead and open up Photoshop CC. Now this was the tutorial before, if you haven't seen that, make sure to go and check that out right now so I'm just gonna close this, don't save just gonna close this and don't save now I'm gonna press control N to make a new document I'm gonna name this text press OK I'm gonna fill this in with black by pressing command I oh shit control A, control command I, wait what, what, what just gonna get the bucket tool and just fill in with black. Control D to D select that. I'm gonna name this background. And I'm gonna hit that button there. Now I'm gonna get the text tool. I'm gonna make this white. Press OK. And I'm just gonna do I don't know what should I do? Ace design. Ace design. Okay, now we press OK like that, press Control T to resize it. When you resize it, hold Shift, this will keep it in ratio. Press the little tick button there, now press Command A, they'll select the document, press V to get the Move tool. Second and fifth icon, press Control D to deselect that. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to make sure that that's spelt right. Now we're going to rationalize it, this is going to make it a graphic image. And now we're going to press Control J, and we're going to hide the. We're going to name this wind here, the wind layer, and we're going to hide this layer. And now we're going to go to. F and now we're going to rotate it. It's pretty easy to rotate it. Just go to. Let's see if I remember. Image, rotation. 90 degrees, oh wait, wait, layer, I'm just going to do this, control T, I'm just going to rotate it 90 degrees, nailed it, <laughs> now I'm going to go to filter, distort, just. now I'm just going to go here, I'm just going to go to filter, distort, Wait, damn it, what is it? Just had to check that. Filter, stylize, wind. Okay, now like that. And we're just gonna do it from left to right, and it's gonna be wind. And press control, press OK. Now we're just gonna go to filter, press that, and that's gonna do it. So we're gonna do it twice. Now we are going to go to filter. Stylize wind. I'm going to do it to the left. Press that, and now press Control F to redo that effect. Now, what we have to do now is rotate it back to normal. So we're going to press Control T. We're going to rotate this 180. I'm going to do this negative 90. Press OK. Now there. Now we're going to go to Filter F that and Control F that. And then go to filter, stylize wind, and then go to right. It's okay, now press F. Okay, now that's done right there. Now what we have to do is we make a new layer, and this is gonna give you called color. Now oh, that's not how you spell color. Now they did this color, so I'm just gonna get it quickly. One nine Four two AA. So I'll repeat that to you guys. So I go to my foreground color, and I'm gonna do. Control this one nine 
4-2-A-A, that's the code. Now get your bucket tool, fill that in with color. Now I'll make this um, blendy mode to color. Make the opacity 60%. Okay, sweet. Now I'll go here and turn this layer back on. And now we're going to go... Oh, shit. Now we need to make this this layer black. You have to do the distortion, so if we press Control E here, wait. If we go to fill, ah, uh, shit. Just go here, click on this um, wind layer. Now go to filter, distort. What is it? Filter distort ripple. Filter, distort, ripple. And we're going to do all the amount OK like that. Press OK. And that's going to make it like this. OK, sweet. Now, now, um... OK, it appears we have made a mistake. So, at the beginning, you're not supposed to rastulize the text layer. You're just press, supposed to press Control J and then rastulize the wind layer. But this is fine. So, I'm just going to work with what we have here. So, this layer right here, which we hide, we resume it, and we hide these two layers right there. Now, we get our magic brush tool, and we just select all these text right here, and we're going to make it black. So, just going to get here, and just going to fill this in with black. Oh, control D. I'm just going to get that again. Here, here. Hold shift and you just select all the letters. Now press command I. They'll fill in with black. Now press control. Okay, now sweet. Now we have that. Now press control D to deselect that. Now if we turn it back on. Put it ahead of that. Press control T. Hold shift when we resize. Use the arrow keys. Damn it, I don't know how to resize this voice. <laughs> how to do it now, and it's fine. So, this this layer which we made black, we want to change that back to white because I made a mistake. So, if you hold command and click the thumbnail, this is going to select that text, and we're just going to fill it in with white back again. Press OK, make that the background color. Get the bucket tool and we're going to fill this in with white, that selection. And then after that, we are going to... Just Control D. Now we're going to go to... Now we're going to hold Command and we're going to hit the thumbnail again and go to Select, Modify, Contract. I'm going to do it by 2, press OK. And now we're going to fill this, this selection in with black. With the bucket tool, bam, 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 control D. And what this has done is it's like shrinked a little bit so you can still see it, but yeah. Um, you can do that again, right? And if you go to select the text like that and the effect over it. Now, guys, thank you for watching the tutorial so much. And I'm sorry for the mistakes, you know, that we did along the way, but hey... I could have re-recorded it, but no, I just didn't want to because I felt like the start was really good. And yeah, but yeah, so make sure to hit that follow button, not follow, subscribe button, and like the video. Guys, I'll be uploading probably two more tutorials today. So yeah, see you, bye-bye. It's time to give us